with some more fixing up this old Jeep I got for two grand. Today I'm servicing the transmission and attempting to fix overdrive while I'm at it. First I remove the transmission pan and filter. The previous owner was nice enough to give me his replacement transmission pan gasket, filter, and overdrive solenoid. Here's how the old filter and the newish one look. And here's the bad news. A lot of metal flakes all over the inside of the transmission pan. It's probably nearing the end of its life, which sucks because the transmission was swapped in 2020. Anyway, I continued on with this assembly to get to the electrical connector for my overdrive solenoid. That's when I found that my 3-4 accumulator spring was broken, so I ordered a new one from eBay for like 10 bucks and installed it. Next, I was going to change out my overdrive solenoid, but I noticed that my replacement one looked slightly different than the one in the transmission. I then looked up 46 RH transmission overdrive solenoid and found two that look identical to my replacement, but only one is for my transmission. I opted not to change the overdrive solenoid since it looked different and I thought maybe my new 3-4 accumulator spring could possibly make overdrive work, and unfortunately it did not fix it. I'll definitely revisit this in the future, so subscribe for more.